Afternoon, I'm Patrick Little starting now at noon on this Wednesday with some breaking news in Providence. A new team shaping up at the State House. Governor Dan McKee announcing his nominee for Lieutenant Governor. Providence City Council President Sabina Matos. Soon it'll be up to the Rhode Island Senate to confirm her nomination. Target 12 reporter Steph Machado joins us now live after this morning's official announcement. Well, Sabina Matos will need to be confirmed by the Rhode Island Senate to be Lieutenant Governor. She was announced by Governor McKee as his pick this morning on this windy Wednesday morning here on the State House steps. An unusual situation. This is normally an elected job by the voters in Rhode Island, but this is the procedure in Rhode Island law when the Lieutenant Governor job is vacant. Now, Matos will be the first person of color to serve as Lieutenant Governor if she is confirmed and the first Afro Latina to serve in the role. She said she was grateful for Governor McKee's commitment to diversity when he made his choice and she spoke this morning here at the State House about being an immigrant from the Dominican Republic. She came to the U.S. in the 90s knowing little English, came here to Providence where she has risen to become a city councilor, then the city council president, and now she is on the doorstep of a statewide office. Now the dynamic between Matos and McKee is expected to be quite different from him and Governor Raimondo who did not see eye to eye or work as a team. For example, Matos is expected to be at tomorrow's coronavirus briefing and have an active role in the McKee administration. Here's a little bit of what Mato said about one of her top priorities. I share the governor commitment to getting as many Rhode Islanders vaccinated as quickly as possible. And as the governor has said, we must continue to step up our effort and to make sure vaccines are reaching our communities of color. And there's no timeline yet on when she might be confirmed by the Senate or when a hearing would be held. A Senate spokesperson tells me they haven't formally received her nomination yet. This decision also shakes up politics in Providence, where Matos is the city council president and previously was eyeing a run for mayor. We'll have more on that tonight starting at 4 o'clock. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.